This video is brought to you by Ultium Designer. In today's episode, you will learn how to control your room appliances using the ATTNE85 microcontroller, a 4-channel relay module, IR sensor, an IR remote controller, and we will also need an Arduino board for uploading the program and for finding the IR remote control button codes. If you're just getting started with the AT1085 microcontroller, then I highly recommend watching my first video because if you want to program this tiny microcontroller using the Arduino IDE, then first of all, you will need to burn a bootloader on the AT1085 microcontroller. And besides this, you must also know about its technical specifications, how to add the AT1085 microcontroller in the Arduino IDE, and how to externally power up this microcontroller. The AT1085 microcontroller has some advantages over all these controller boards. Like for example, number one, the AT1085 is smaller than all these controller boards, which makes it the smallest Arduino. Number two, it reduces the project overall cost. Number three, it reduces the size. And number four, it's low power. By looking at its size, you might have an idea that it has fewer I.O. pins. So you just can't control your entire home appliances. If you are thinking about the I.O. extender, then why to use the AT1085 in the first place? Why not use Arduino Uno or Arduino Mega then? So what I want to say is if you want to control certain loads like a TV, an AC, a refrigerator, a bulb, etc., then you should use the AT1085 microcontroller when you are sure about the loads you want to control are equal to or less than 4 in number. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. Connect the voltage and ground pins of the IR sensor to the 5 volt and ground pins. Connect the S pin of the IR sensor to the AT1885 pin 5. To avoid any confusion, make sure you study these spin-out diagrams which you can download from the article available on electronicclinic.com. I have connected all the four relays to the AT1885 pins 6, 7, 2 and 3 respectively. This sequence is not important. You can use any of these four pins to control any relay. You can use AAA batteries to power up your project or you can use any 5 volt regulated power supply. In my case, I'm using my designed 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. As you can see, I have connected the 5 volt and ground wires to the VCC and ground pins on the AT1885 microcontroller. I have a very detailed video on how to design a 5 volt and 3 amps power supply in Ultium Designer. So that's all about the connections and if still you have got any confusion, then you can follow this circuit diagram. You can download this circuit diagram from our website electronicclinic.com. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. This is a small program that reads the IR remote control button codes and then controls the desired loads. As you can see, I'm using only one library. So let me show you how to install this library. Simply copy the library name, then go to the sketch manual, then to include library and click on the manage libraries. Paste the library name, as you can see, I have already installed this library. The IR sensor S pin is connected to the PB0 and the four relays are connected to the PB1, PB2, PB3 and PB4. These pins which are used to control four relays are named as device 1, device 2, device 3 and device 4. Then in the white setup function, we simply activate the IR sensor and set all the relays as the output devices using the pin mode function. By default, all the relays will be in the off state. Then in the loop function, we check if an IR signal is received. Then using if conditions, we check the codes. If the code is valid, then the desired device or load is turned on or turned off depending on its previous state. Now you might be thinking how I got these button codes. Well, I have been using IR remote controller with Arduino and other controller boards so I simply copied these codes from my previous projects. I have added links in the description if you want to learn how to find the IR remote control button codes. Or you can use this simple program. All you need is to connect the signal wire of your IR sensor to the Arduino pin 11 
and of course the voltage pin to 5 volt and ground pin to the ground pin. Then upload this program. Open the serial monitor. Select the desired part rate and start pressing buttons on your IR remote controller. This is exactly how I did it. Now the final step is to upload this program. As you know the 801085 has no USB support so you will need to use an Arduino board to upload the program. So next I'm going to explain how to connect your 801085 with the Arduino Uno. Ultim Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultim Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultim Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for the delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Easily work together with your mechanical team and forget about the days of swapping design files. Every design change stays in sync between Ultium Designer and Soderbergh's PTC crew, Autodesk Inventor, Autodesk Fusion 360 or Siemens NX. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. One of the best things about Ultium Designer is that you can share your designs with your team members using Ultium 365. They can check your design, leave comments and if there are any issues, they can fix them from anywhere in the world. Ultium Designer also uses the world's fastest company search engine Octopart so you won't have any difficulty in searching for components. Links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. Connect pin 1 of the 801085 which is also the reset pin to pin 10 of the Arduino which is the SS pin slave select. Connect pin 4 which is the ground pin to the ground pin of the Arduino. Connect pin 5 which is the MOSI pin to pin 11 of the Arduino which is the MOSI master out slave in. Connect pin 6 which is the MISO pin to pin 12 of the Arduino which is the MISO master in slave out. Connect pin 7 which is the SCK pin to pin 13 of the Arduino which is the SCK serial clock. Connect pin 10 of the AT1085 which is the VCC pin to the Arduino 5 volt pin. Finally connect a 10 microfarad decoupling capacitor between the reset and ground pins of the Arduino. Make sure you connect the positive leg of the capacitor with the reset pin and the other leg of the capacitor with the ground. So that's all about the connections. If still you have got any confusions then you can follow this circuit diagram. You can download this from the article available on electronicclinic.com. Connect Arduino Uno with a laptop and upload this program. But first you will need to aid the AT1085 controller in the Arduino IDE. The AT1085 microcontroller is not pre-installed in the Arduino IDE and you can confirm this by going to the tools menu and then to board you will see a long list of the Arduino boards but you won't find AT1085 so this means we'll have to manually install the AT1085 as a board in the Arduino IDE. For this go to my website and copy this board manager URL link. Then come back to the Arduino IDE, go to the file menu and then to preferences and paste this link in the additional boards manager URLs. Put a comma if you have added other boards otherwise you can directly paste the board URL link and then click on the OK button. Go to the tools menu then to board and click on the boards manager. Search for the AT1080. You can see the AT1085 is included in this board's package. So let's go ahead and install it. Now to confirm that the AT1085 microcontroller is added, go to the tools menu. Then to board and you can see the AT1080 microcontrollers. You can see the different variants of the AT1080 microcontrollers. So let's go ahead and select the AT1085 controller. Now let's go ahead and upload the program.
you can see the program has been uploaded. Everything looks good and now let's power up this project. Okay, my dear friends, if you don't have a relay module, then you can also use these LEDs and uh, you can perform your initial experiments. So I'm going to control these LEDs. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.